Look at some of the comments in there. Like the sound of spit. How do we look here? Are we looking okay, guy? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up, Scotty Bemis. I'm Scotty. Hi. And we're back looking at more small sets, smaller review. This is from our favorite brand called Sluban. You know, if my last room interior gave you nightmare fuel, the Disney rooms, at least this is original, right? This wastes no time. Let's jump right into this. So what you're looking at is Sluban's. They call it mini handcraft. That's what I call it on my store. I should change that. I'm gonna change that now to room interior because this is what they are. They're room interiors. B0757. A through F. Pieces vary from 105 to 116 pieces. Yay! At least we have room interiors. Okay, so you're looking at the colors going, mm, I'm not sure, Scotty. Yeah, these are kind of like more like pastel colors. They're not over bright, which is really good. They're kind of like the food stalls I did, the cake and the ice cream cone, that kind of color. So if you have those already, you know what you're getting yourself into. And yeah, the clutch and the feel of the pieces, they're a little bit more, I guess, more light in terms of like the plastic and the fuel. But these ones seem to be okay. There are a couple issues with the clutch on some of the items. We'll see it as we go along. So let's start from letter A. We'll work our way to B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. They should have just done the whole alphabet. So this is A, the kitchen. Now, just so you know, every single one of these has these transparent little poles that you can stack the rooms on top of each other. Why? You know, maybe you just want to display these things or, you know, you just want to stack them for fun. It's up to you, man. Maybe I should put them all on top of each other and do a drop test. Yeah, yeah I know you're, you're going to like that one. I can hold it like this and go, look, twirl, twirl, twirl. I'll give you a quick 360 rotation. Whee! Yes, these sets come with one figure each and they are not minifigures. You're probably going to use your own standard minifigure. So, you know, I'll just show it with you here with the figure on it. And then we'll put a standard one inside for comparison's sake, all right? I'm gonna slide it up, and we're gonna get closer. Well, knocking everything down. There, not too bad. At least the flooring is all tiled. Yay. So I'm gonna remove these little poles out of the way so you can get an idea. Ah, oh, that one's gonna fall down. This one without taking the tile off. There, all right. So yeah, transparent poles. At least you get more of these, yeah. Ah, I keep them in my ears like that. There we go. They look better. We'll start with the table here. She got a couple of mugs on there. We'll take those off. They look all right, even though they're those solid colors. At least they're not like crazy bright orange looking cups. And this is the figure. Let's look at her real quick. That's mama in the kitchen printing on the apron. But they have these hair pieces that are rubber. I don't like rubber hair pieces, man. I think they come off like too easy like that. But anyway. At least her heads can kind of tilt a little bit. She's like, yeah! Bump it to that music. Dum, 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 dum. They have really long necks. Oh, my neck! Fatality. Sub-Zero wins. There's a better look at her. With nothing on. Now in the last video, I actually did try to put on the aprons on the standard figures. It won't fit, man. Remember I bro almost broke it? Then you got a little fish here, which looks oddly familiar. Okay, that's a little bit close. Well, the mugs too, I guess. Here, stick it in like that. You got a table here. Yeah, it's a little bit pink. There. Very simple. Got a little stool right there. Orangey stool. Here's a better look at the room. You got the sink over there and a cutting board. That's where the fish is supposed to go. I'm assuming this right here is an oven. There's nothing inside there and move over to the sink area down below you got a little bit of a gap maybe a little creature can live down under there maybe i have a, a bug living in there i kind of like the look of that here's a sink piece i like the faucet design actually had like a little bit of a cut out there on the edge so it looks more like a faucet rather than like a tool piece that you see in other sets here's a better look at the back wall and you got the stove there so yeah it is pastel color you guys like that or is that like too too feminine. Nothing wrong with that. 
You got the fan here for the stove. I, I like this piece right here because it kind of has texture feel to it. You got this brightly pink cabinet here on this side with a drink on top and a clock that is a sticker. So each set actually has their own little sticker sheet, but they're kind of repetitive. They repeat. So A might repeat with C, but you're not using the clock for C, but you're using the clock for this one. So you do get a couple of duplicates. And then we just got the back wall here. The back wall is nothing. Okay, so I put everything back and I'm gonna just take out a standard figure. This is Daniel. Daniel, hope you're well. This is you, you gifted me this figure. So there you go, he's in his snow gear. He needs to have some food first. Put your fish back on here. So there you go, you guys can have an idea now of what it's like with a figure on there. Daniel having some cup of tea, mama cooking in the kitchen. So what do you think? It's simple, right? Well, that's the whole idea. I think it's more simple, it's more for kids to play with. But you know, if you see anything here, you can probably emulate and copy it yourself. Or, you know, buy the set and enjoy it. Oh yeah, so when you buy it, you're gonna buy all of them at one time. You can't just buy one. I don't think you can. But if you can, good for you. Then you can just have the kitchen if you want to. Hey, look, a fish fits perfectly in the sink. Now you can wash the fish and be like, oh, wash the fish. That's room A, let's go to B. So here's B, the living room. Just to give you guys a, an over a wide view of this thing. Be like, oh, there's the front, there's the back. Whee! <laughs> All right, same deal with the poles. I'm gonna take those off first. There's the figure, the guy. His rubber hair piece was a little bit better. He has printing on the jacket, but other than that, he's pretty plain. There, you guys can get a better look if I turn him this way here. He's holding like a tiny certificate of something. That is a sticker. This is another extra tile with a sticker on there. Terrible job as usual. I'm pretty sure that is a book. But anyway, there's the guy figure and the tile. Then you got this kitty cat there. The head actually does move. It goes left to right. It can, it can lick its butt now, right there. Here's the room with no figures inside. And you do have a loose furniture here, which is the chair, the main thing. All right. The chair was actually easy to build. And it's secure, it's stable, it hasn't fallen apart on me at all, surprisingly. He sits in it just fine. Legs stick out a little bit. But yeah, I like the chair. No problems with that. Now the room is getting more empty. You only got this little table, which is the same deal as the other one. The clutch on this is actually pretty okay. Look. It's not falling off. But the pattern there is a sticker. Wah, 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 okay. Now it's empty again here. Now I come to the back wall here. Questionable. I'm not sure if I like these things. Kind of weird looking, right? The fireplace is all right. Hey, at least you know that's a fireplace. They just don't have a flame inside. They use a clear yellow cone looking piece there. Maybe they could have put a flame in there. Would have been a little bit better. But I do like the little counter on top. That's kind of cool. You have a radio there, flowers, a mug. You have two dangling lights there. And that's it, man. Very small room. Can you guys design your, something like that yourself and, and just use this idea? There's the back wall. There's nothing there. It's very simple. There's our boy Daniel chilling on the chair. And funny enough, it actually fits better. His feet just touch the edge of the chair. So it's more suited for your minifigures, for sure. Put the cat on the chair. Daniel's by the fireplace, enjoying his book. Maybe he's gonna burn that the book. So there you go, very small. That is the living room or fireplace room. Let's go to C. So here we go, room C, the piano room. Let me do a quick rotation for you guys. There, got a little cat there on the side. There is the girl. Hey, I like her outfit. That little piggy on her. Oh, not a pig. Maybe it's like, I don't know what that is. Like a character icon or something. They actually look okay. At least they're being original here, guys. They're being original. But let's look at this funky looking cat. Because I'm not sure what to think. Garfield, you look drunk. Go home. Yeah, not as good as the other cat. The other cat looked a little bit better. But again, I think this one can rotate the head. Yeah, sure can. At least the heads can move on these cats. Where are the dogs at? Who let the dogs out? Again, transparent poles. Let's move these poles out of the way. That was an interesting and odd choice to put those there in the first place. But at least they're see-through. They're not too distracting. 
Of course, the coolest thing about this room is the piano. Everything else is very plain. So yeah, when you're buying this, you're gonna want the whole set anyway. You're not gonna want just each individual one. You might be disappointed, like, oh, that's it. That's all I get. The worst thing about the set is actually the stool. I have never been so frustrated in my life putting a stool together. The pieces come off so easy like that. Like, oh, oh. Then when you try to put it back on, it just wants to fall off. So yeah, it's like the clutch of this flat, tile circular circular piece it's not all that great you see it's starting to come off already so if you try to put this on and be like oh i can get it on oh no this one came out oh that one came out so here's the purpley piano which is okay it was like oh that's kind of cute the sides can come off a little bit easy because it's just like pushed in like like that there you go that's a perfect example it's splitting apart on me it's like but once it's together, yeah, let me do that again. Here, like that, see? Do you see it falling off on you? Is it falling off? No, it's holding up in place. This new band's not that bad. It's just, yeah, that's a sticker there, the notes on it. The piano keys are stickers as well. One long sticker there. That's cool, it can open and close here. There's nothing on the inside there. This ain't the Lego Grand Piano, which looks very cool, by the way. I really have no use for a piano right now. We look at the back room here. It's empty. It's a little hole right there. We'll put the cat right here. You can see. Meow, meow. What kind of a room is this? Stickers for curtains. Okay, when you, when I go like this, I make it blurry. It actually looks kind of cool like that. You know, add some depth to it. But yeah, that is a sticker on the back. Even more stickers there. So this room is actually pretty plain. There's your standard figure. He's playing Bumblebee, right? Yeah, I was terrible doing that, but here, quick rotation there, or you can do like there, that angle, if you're into your photography taking stuff there, or the side right there. It's wrong cats. So that's the piano room for you. Let's look at the next room. Here we go, We're halfway through guys, the bathroom. Again, your rotation, no animals in this set. That would be kind of weird. Wee, wee, and stop. All right, again, we'll move these transparent poles. As you can see, I'm slowly stacking them there so you get an idea what they look like stacked on each other. So here's the dude in his bathroom. And you know me in toilets, I love to look at all these Lego or brick style bathrooms. So I'm pulling him here to the front. I love his little goatee. This might just be my favorite character of all the sets because he's wearing a bathrobe. He's holding his comb. And yeah, these sets actually have come a little bit of accessories, just so you know, all my spare parts are somewhere. I know you're probably, you're, you're asking yourself this, is she naked under there? You know you wanna know. <gasps> oh my goodness. Who asked to see the figures like this? I know you're probably wondering yourselves. All right, that's what the figure looks like. He is now ready to take a bath. Okay, let's move him out of the way first. So this is what the bathroom looks like. You know, I don't think I've ever seen this piece before, but I like that piece. And I, underneath how the studs are holding it down, it really does look like a sink there. I thought it was pretty cool. Faucet again, cup. This is, I guess, the mirror. It's kind of a weird place to put a mirror. The bathtub there, which is a very simple design, but it's good. Like, I like the look of it. Color, I don't know if the yellow goes with this blue. I'm pretty sure this piece right here is a shower head. It's kind of a weird design, but you know, it, it's cool that it's there. Because this would be the, the, the faucet to fill up the tub. You got the shampoo and conditioner. And there's a couple stickers. Almost didn't see those. Shampoo, body wash. There's like a little, I, I don't know if this is supposed to be lights or is that supposed to be a towel rack? Or just, I don't know what they were thinking when they're building it. You have a sticker here of another shell and the toilet. You know, I'm a sucker for these. At least I didn't use stickers there. I do like the combo. It doesn't open up or anything, but there you go. You got the toilet seat and that's it. The bathroom is complete and finished. Oh, you do have one more blow dryer there. So Daniel, where you at, man? It's time to take a bath. There's our boy Daniel taking his little bath. Figure does fit in there okay. I think I had to take off his hat if you want to like lie him completely flat. There you go. If you were to put a figure inside, it just fits in there. There's naked dude enjoying himself in the bathtub. There, Daniel's using the pooper. 
all the other guys taking a bath. Everyone can share this bathroom. There you go, that's a bathroom. Two more rooms to go through, guys. Here we go. This room right here looks like the walk-in closet. Again, did a little rotation for you guys. Welcome to MTV Cribs. Do, 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 the multi-million dollar home. The room. This is my closet. Or makeup room. Here's a close-up of it. And there's the figure inside. She's kind of cute. It's like a Marilyn Monroe type of thing going on. She's even doing a little wink. I like her dress. I think that's actually really pretty, the details on it and her little wink there. But again, rubber wigs, that will come off quite easily. So there she is. So here's a room with no figures in there. Tiled on the bottom, very nice. And it'd be interesting to kind of combine all these into a mock and to see what it looks like. We'll start here on the side, we got a little dresser. Anything inside? <gasps> There's a blow dryer inside. So you got a white blow dryer in there. Got a mirror here, which is a sticker. Oh, and you got this drawer here, which is quite high. Yeah, it's a little bit high. Like, how can I reach anything? You can open the drawer. That is a sticker on the drawer. Got like more mirrors and combs and a pair of scissors. I totally forgot that there was a stool that belonged in this room, so I just put it back there so you guys can see. It's like the piano one, a little bit loose on those clutches, so be careful with that. But there's the stool. And I guess if she sits down on it, it'll probably raise her back up a little bit. But she's got a dress on. She's gonna, not gonna fit on this thing. Gonna be, oh. So, you know, we'll have to use our regular figures to test that one out. Along the back wall, it's a rack to hang all your clothes. And again, you know, like the photography studio that I just reviewed, I like that idea. I think that's cute to hang the clothes there, but they use their figure pieces. That's a good thing. If you wanted to, you can totally change her outfit on this set. And you just got a little bit of these decoration pieces up here. And finally, Got a little coat rack hanger there. This hat keeps falling off. It's not really hooked to anything, but you could take off her wig. And now she's ready to hit the town wearing this hat. Yeah, a hat doesn't look good on you, lady. They have another little bag hanging here and a brown bag down here. And that is this room. All right, so there's Daniel sitting down at the makeup table. Now he has a stool. So if you sit there, yeah, this is higher now. Okay, I see it. I didn't get the stool earlier. So I thought they were just standing there doing makeup. Hey, hey, the hat fits him. What do you know? Okay, Daniel, you look better with a hat on like that. So there's your walk-in closet. Let's look at the last room. So this is the last room, the bedroom. I was fishing the wig on her, but I'm gonna borrow the one from the girl there because they're all the same. I'm gonna put this on her. And of course, we'll do a little rotation for the bedroom, the last room. Ooh. Same deal with the pose. Let's move these transparent poles out of the way. All right, there's the bedroom. Okay, the figure here looks really funny. Okay, let's put her here. At least her face is printed. Got a face mask on there. I thought that was actually really cool. But yeah, they changed up this one. That's neat. And she's holding a mirror here, as you can see. Oh, we can kind of see a little bit of a reflection there. I look scary in the mirror. And of course, for the guys, you want to see what she looks like underneath this robe, right? There you go. Is that wrong? Okay, we're going to put the robe back on here, man. Here's the room with no figures inside. Tiled again. Not sure if I like this room. I don't like the color of the lamp. I'm not sure if I'm digging the, the, the fan in the back. I do like this broom, even though it's like kind of, you know, solid color. Why? Because it kind of just stands on its own like that. I'm like, oh, it's kind of cool. So at least if you wanted to just decorate the room, you can just put this broom and it just won't fall anywhere. So that was kind of cool. You can lay it flat like that if you wanted to. So I like that. It's nice and, it's nice and thick. Yeah. The bed I think we've seen before many times, the design or the style of it. But I do like this piece, which I haven't seen too much of, where the pillow can kind of have a little bit of a tilt, give it a little bit more of a look. I don't think the bed, can the bed separate from here? Oh, I think so. Yeah, there we go. If you didn't know, Sluban actually prints their little tiles, so you know that it's a Sluban set. So the headboard didn't come off, but here, this is what the bed looks like. That's good, it does come off. I thought it didn't come off. That's what it looks like underneath. Little nightstand here, nothing inside. This is okay. I'm not a fan of the light color. It looks very retro. It looks kind of too old school, and they should just lose this fan. That looks kind of weird there. Even just having it flat here would have been perfectly fine with me. Finally, you got the sticker here, family photo. Oh, I did not put that on right. Sorry, guys. Oh, it's not straight. Here, if it bothers you guys, I'll just center it like this. There. 
So it looks straight to you. No glass on the windows, or no plastic pieces. That's what it looks like on the back. So there we have Daniel chilling on the bed, looking at himself in the mirror, and his girlfriend cleaning the room, making sure it's spick and span. You know, I was totally going to do this in a hardcore way, but I got to keep this PG, man. Kids are watching the show. But you guys know, this is where the magic usually happens. All right? So there's the figures on the set. And there you go. That is the bedroom for you guys. All right, before we drop this thing, let's do quick dimensions, just so you know. All the plates are 10 by 10s. If I move her out of the way and move this here, and just show you underneath there, single plate, so that's nice. Okay, I got my one by four bricks here, and it's only like seven bricks in height. What's well, really close to that? Stack it here. Oh, it's a little bit less than that, but it's very close to it. So at least you have an idea if you know if you want these rooms or take off the walls or just use the objects within the room. I'm pretty sure this set is quite cheap. All right, you guys, it's drop test time. I'm just gonna leave these all stacked on. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun for you. It's gonna suck for me. All the loose pieces are probably gonna come off. All the sets are probably gonna be completely damaged, all right? So here we go. I'll lift it up to about here, okay? Why am I doing it like this for? Five, four, three, two, one. Start from the top and let's put these all back. So move everything that has fallen off, which I expected to. The loose pieces, or oh, the top floor room just fell apart. So here, let's see how fast Scotty can do this. Dum, 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 dum. So we'll take this off. Hey, the bottom three kind of survived. There, piano room is done. This one was the most destroyed casualty. The entire back came off. But well, that was actually a really simple fix though. Where this piece come from? So they're all stacked up here, Sluban's mini handcraft, room interior, home furnishing, whatever you want to call it, all available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. Thank you so much for your support, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can bring you guys more videos, all right? Until next time, you guys, Brick Me Out! Now, just because I love you guys, I'm going to drop these one by one just to show you their clutch is pretty okay. Most of the loose objects are taken off. So, you know, let's just see what it's like just as a room itself, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, survive, okay. Three, two, one. Okay, survive, good. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, good. Look, I'll survive. <laughs> ah, yeah, you like enjoying this? Three, two, one. See, who says that this brand is so bad everything falls apart? Well, some of it does, but not that bad. Three, two, one. Finally, three, two, one. Just a stool.